So hi everybody, Craig Hansen here and welcome to my video. We're checking out some of the best players in the world here, some of the best pitchers. We're looking at uh, the characteristics, the hallmarks of great pitchers, the different styles. And uh, I'm going to show you guys a couple of things I think that you've uh, most of you never seen before. Uh, pitching is a difficult shot. It's uh, not that easy for a lot of the people out there and that's a difficult shot to feel. Uh, there's a little bit more to it than uh, some of the information getting out there. I think sometimes it's just a simple don't break your wrists and things like that. That's probably not good enough. I think there's uh, just because something's simple doesn't mean it's effective. So let's get in there and have a look at uh, some of the facts, evidence-based material here of uh, some of the best pitches uh, of all time. Uh, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Please hit the button, hit the bell. And if you like the video, like the video. That helps me out. And uh, leave your questions and comments below. So let's have a look at Tiger Woods here. And uh, we'll have a look at this action. First thing that we can obviously see is that, you know, when we're looking at the head, we can see that the head moves down. Now, the two average with the pitch is an inch moving downwards, even on shots from around 30 yards, which is interesting. 20, 30, 40 yards. And, and a little bit further, we're seeing the head move down uh, a lot and obviously move back up, which is something we don't really see them moving back up a lot with uh, with the iron shots, the tour pros uh, moving their heads down between two to four inches, but really not only just coming up or staying down or even going further down. But with the pitching, we're seeing a lot of the time the players are coming down and lifting back up. Now, what we're seeing is also is the movement of the head and it going forwards, where club go golfers actually go the other direction back we're seeing this and this is something that's not really spoken about much at all which is funny because i'm not the only one that can draw a line on somebody's head but it seems to be something that an area that is not spoken about enough and the fact is is that uh, no one of people are pitching and chipping so badly is that the head does go forwards okay now tiger woods sets his wrists quite a little bit you know, a, a touch more than perhaps uh, some of the other players out there but it's a, it's a beautiful style and he's obviously one of the best pitchers in the world it's just a quite natural, normal style. When we're seeing Jason Day, Steve Stricker, DeChambeau, people like this, they're, they're seeing their hands a little bit higher or not a bit more passive in their hands and wrists, but they're also moving their heads forwards. Some of them don't move their heads down as much, but they're all moving their heads forwards. Now, when we look at this setup here, it's interesting. A rounded back on the left, he's got some slack in it. He's standing very close to the ball. So guys, you know, judging Tiger Woods' foot here, we're seeing that he's about a a foot width away from the golf ball. Uh, the shaft almost touching the legs. We'll see the head move down, which helps keep the lead shoulder down. Uh, it gets it on a beautiful plane here. Look at that. So, I mean, we can be a technical without being mechanical. We just have to copy some of the positions and uh, get our body to move in the same way. And then we just get the wrists and the hands and uh, we get ourselves in the right direction. Now on World Class Golf Instruction, we have a pitching series that is one of the most detailed pitching series of all time. We're gonna take you through a variation of shots, spins, speed, uh, entries. Uh, we're not just looking at one uh, simple shot, but we're taking you through the preferences. Perhaps you would like to pitch with less wrist or you perhaps you would like to pitch with more wrist set. Um, but you have to know the, the, the commonalities, the characteristics that match up to that. It's not difficult, but you need to get your hands on some great information. Now, we can see that the club splits up through the forearm, head moves down. And as he's coming down into the ball, they're splitting back through the forearm. And this is this unbelievable entry into the golf ball here. This is the standard, pretty much standard low to medium pitch shot here. We can see that that face control, a lot of great players weaken their grips a little bit with their pitching to make it a bit more neutral so when the club hits the ground it doesn't dig down as much and into impact and great club face control through the ball the hips slightly more open than when they started i love this part here check this out this is something that you can just mimic in your practice swings getting that face about the same as the spine angle here and uh, as it comes up i really really enjoy this elbow staying close to the body and this club face here you need to see what that's pointing there's not a lot of face uh, rotation and actually the shoulders are a little bit flatter than where they were at the start so great action really really like that one world-class golf instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf join us in the chat room and join the community of world-class golf instruction and we'll have a look at a couple other. I'm really looking at one of the best pitches of all time here. We'll just get, uh, where is he? Luke Donald here. 
you know, from stats, he's been one of the best for, for many years. Had a couple of injuries in the last couple of years, but he's coming back now. Just watch this head. It just moves forwards and down also. And uh, it's a great feeling, actually. We have, do have a bit of lateral shift in this pitch shot. Uh, this one's only about 30 yards. You're having most of the guys open up the face ever so slightly by about 10 degrees here. So and leaning the shaft forwards, we're having between 0 to 18 degrees of shaft lean, depending on what type of shot you're playing. If you're having the low spinning shot, you'll be having a lot of shaft lean with the face slightly open, uh, some of the things that we're showing you. But that's a really great feeling. If you get your elbows connected to your rib cage and just keep them connected to your rib cage and get that head to move down and forwards, keep yourself turning. And you'll, if you stand in a pretty straight position, that head will come back up. You'd obviously want to be thinking about the ball contact and the flight, but uh, you'll get your technique correct first, and you'll get a feel from that and build your confidence. If you know that you're moving your body very similar to these top players, well, it's fantastic. Let's have a look here at uh, a couple of players here. We'll have a look at uh, Deschambeau. Okay, so the, the style of, of lifting up the wrists and not using the wrists, it's just, if that's your preference and you can repeat that, that's fantastic. It's what, you, it's what it's all about. I mean, you're going to see here a couple of different wrist sets on the way back here. One more pointing at the ball, but you'll see uh, Deschambeau's end of his grip, you know, pointing more towards his body. But you still see his head's moved down a little bit more than an inch and it's moved forwards. You know what I mean? So you can see that the ball's placed quite a long way back because he doesn't have a lot of wrist hinge. A lot of people that find it hard to get the shaft lean, yeah, you want to be putting the ball a bit further back. It's not just all doing the same thing, you know? That's that's what's important. But, you know, this style is also not that easy. You know, holding positions like this through the ball with huge angles in the right wrist, as much as people like to say it's such an easy style, it's actually not, you know? Let's have a look at Jason Day also here. Ball played slightly back to the right and the head moving forwards. And, uh, you know, through the golf ball here, we're going to see that great face control once again. You can see that face almost matching the, the spine angle here. Uh, we'd see all these great players. Brett Rumford, five-time winner on the uh, European Tour. You're going to see this same sort of entry. So they're getting the same entry into the golf ball. The hand, you know, coming in behind the hands and the toe up there rotating the chest through the ball, face staying up, head moving forwards and down. Let's have a look at Brett from this side here. Pop a line on the side of the head here. We're going to see this same sort of head moving downwards and forwards. And to get that low spinning one, you see him now lifting back up. But to get that low spinning shot here, we're going to see a lot of shaft. Look at that, 17 degrees. And, you know, it's going to vary for certain players. That just depends on what you can repeat. You know, but you're looking at a six iron, you're looking at an average on two, you're at 12 degrees of shaft length. But this shot here for the low spinner, you're going to get this thing coming out, you know, 30 degrees or a little bit lower, you're going to have to have that shaft length. That's just a fact. You've got to work with facts. Look at that elbow staying on the chest and nice and straight. So guys, yeah, on World Class Golf Instruction, we're going to be taking you through, you know, an amazing amount of uh, great information. And you guys are going to be able to understand the different pitching actions even though where we're seeing players with different styles, we'll be really seeing them uh, working the club uh, into impact on the same planes. And uh, yeah, there's a, I'm really looking forward to sharing this information with you guys. So there we have it. There's a little bit about pitching, a couple of things perhaps that you haven't seen before. Guys, check out World Class Golf Instruction. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.